Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Harvest Moon 64. I am Mega Freak 400, and last time it was raining for half the video, or actually more than half, I think. Well, maybe not, because it's better for that wrong one section. Oh look, a lonely eggplant. I shall, I shall save you, save you from birds. I'm not a big fan of birds. I'm not a non-fan of birds. Either. Oh look, a chicken. Well, um. This is my last chicken. I'm going to take a suggestion that was pretty high up, and actually multiple people suggested it. Uh, again, if there's any more, uh, if I happen to need more names, if I, like, sell a chicken or it dies, um, which, fun fact about chickens, and yeah, I'm naming it Clucky, um, but fun fact about chickens in terms of getting sick, like, your animals can get sick, and you haven't seen me this happen because I haven't really had many animals. With your chickens, the main way they can, and maybe chickens have got sick, sick before, or sickened. But because I missed a day of feeding, but basically I think the way chickens get sick, if you miss a day of feeding, they'll be sick. And I don't know if being sick equals they can't produce uh, eggs, because maybe that's the case. I know they don't produce eggs and they don't get fed, so maybe that that is them getting sick. But the thing with chickens is they'll be fine as long as you feed them again. Uh, if you for whatever reason decide not to feed them or somehow miss two days of work, um, which the most likely way you're gonna do that is either just being really forgetful or neglectful or being sick two days in a row, which I don't think is possible. Um, but if you, if that does happen, uh, you know, the chickens will get sick, and as long as you feed them, they'll be fine, but if you don't feed them, I assume they may die. Uh, I don't think I've ever in the history of playing this game, don't quote me on that though, because I don't remember everything I did when I was younger. I don't think I've ever had a chicken die, because it's pretty hard to kill chickens. Again, you just have to basically not feed them ever, and they won't, they'll die, but, um, yeah, it's definitely hard to, hard to kill chickens. It's easier to kill cows and sheep because when cows and sheep are sick, they'll be sick, and you have to like buy a miracle potion at the um, place where the, the green farm or green ranch. If you buy a potion there, they'll be okay. I think you almost have to heal them that way. I don't think you can just like wish for them to be better. Um, but yeah, that. And if you don't do that, or if you can't get to the shop, uh, they do have the chance of dying, which sucks. Um, because no one wants anyone to die. Dying is not fun. But harvesting, uh, plants is fun. Though at the moment we don't need to harvest any more plants. I'll brush my horse, though. I should be brushing my horse more because it'll help, uh, prepare it for the, um, horse races by, like, brushing your horse and, like, even just getting on it, it increases its stamina. Unfortunately, though, I'm a little neglectful, and the fact that my horse always gets stuck in random places doesn't help. I should build a little bit of a corral around it, but not that. I'm kind of lazy. Where's Anne? I don't know where she is. Uh, she's probably... Maybe she's in the barn. I don't know. Though, like, it's not, like... I think sometimes she'll be in the mountains, but, you know, usually if Green Ranch is open, she'll be here. And I'm gonna buy... Nothing right now because I um, do not have. I don't think I have enough money. But as you can see, a new item has appeared uh, in the shop because my uh, because SM is fully grown. Actually, I have enough to buy a sheep, but not enough to buy a cow. Which I think I'm gonna buy a new cow first because cows are definitely a little bit more useful. Plus, I kind of want to like balance it out a little bit because then I'll probably buy because I already bought a sheep. I bought a sh cow, then a sheep, so then buy another cow. Um, but that new potion is a. Uh, Miracle, I think that's actually the Miracle Potion, but that's basically, you use it on a cow who's at least fully grown, and it will become uh, pregnant, and it will be allowed, uh, within a, a, a season's time, it will uh, have a, a calf. Um, so yeah, you can't get that until you have at least one fully grown cow. Now, which makes sense, I mean, there'd be no reason to use it if you don't have a fully grown cow. Unless you just want to maze your friends and pretend to use it on them. Uh, here's a little bit of a secret up here, actually. Um... If you come up to the mountains, uh, there should be a, I've gotta find it though, I remember it's, um, oh yeah, yeah, I'm doing fine, hello, who's he, he reminds me of some, I guess, Sturgeon, I guess, from, um, where is that thing I need, but I guess Sturgeon from, um, let me make it a little bit, that guy, I know with a bald head is Sturgeon, oh, here it is, oh, this is the full moon berry, Basically, it sells for quite a bit. It only appears uh, in the... Tw I think today's the 10th. So the 10th and the 12th is when you can find it. 
Uh, and you'll know it exists if you look at the uh, florist calendar. They'll have like a heart mark on those days. Uh, so if you go up here, you'll get the full moon berry. It, I think it's a good, it's a good gift, but it also is definitely uh, it sells for more, I believe. Um, then uh, any of the other, ooh, awesome silver axe. Now I can chop wood faster. But it sells for more than any of the other uh, forgeable items you can get in uh, the mountains during the fall. So. I'm not sure how much it sells for exactly, but yeah, you know, it's definitely worth checking out if you have time. And speaking of things to do, well, not only really speaking of things, but uh, let's go see if Rick is home. No, say Wednesday. I'm not sure. So Bros is not on Sunday. So when, where is he? Here's a mushroom. Don't give it away to Harris this time. Seriously, I I, I worked hard picking you that mushroom, and you gave it away to Harris. Who gave it to me? So basically, I could just eat my mushroom and not even given it to you, and then it would saved everyone a bunch of time. Though I guess I made people happy in the course of doing that. So yeah, it was like basically I gave it to the his name Sabrosa. I don't know the craftsman, and then he gave it to Rick or no Rick. He gave it well, could have given Rick, but he gave it to Harris, who gave it to me. So it's like a chain of. Regifting. I don't know, regifting. I always feel dirty. I know that probably not the best way to describe it. But I always feel like wrong, like to regift something. When I get like a gift, like even if it's a game, you know, I get like I'm not, a, a, you know, I don't play that much. I always feel bad uh, getting a gift that I either don't use or like if someone buys me a gift and they they put some effort into thinking what it was and it's not exactly what. Not exactly something I wouldn't want, but something that I'm going, something I don't use all that often. Like once I got a foot massager, which was cool, but I didn't really use it all that much. And I feel bad when someone gives me a gift that I don't use, because it's not like I don't want to use it. I just, you know, don't use it. So that's why I tend to like to, you know, give a specific list of what I, you know, want. I know it gets away the surprise, and I do feel bad for doing that because I do like surprises. But I also, you know. It kind of really sucks when someone gives you a gift and it's like, I really want to use this, but I don't really have a use for it, or I don't, I'm not going to probably use it all that often. So that sucks, uh, in my opinion, whenever that happens. Um, and that's not good. When you, whenever you shake your head, like, like you know, like that, uh, and your face gets dark, I believe it's a sign of you getting sick. Uh, I actually looked this up, I looked up a few, you know, facts before doing this pl part of the playthrough. Uh, doing this recording, um, and also I think if you do that, like if your head gets dark and you like fall on the ground or something, then you're definitely going to get sick. So you got to be careful with that. And it's raining, great. Um, but yeah, uh, but yeah, I guess my thing is I hate it when I don't use something, but it's even worse to like say to re-gift something. Now there are exceptions, I guess. Like for example, I got um, at one point I let my brother have my SNES, which was dumb on my part because I really didn't want to give it away, so I gave it away as a gift, but then I kept playing it anyway, and eventually kind of took it back, um, somewhat, not, ex well, kind of, I'm still in his room, but I play it a lot anyway, so anyway, yeah, the, I'm not a big fan of regifting anyway, though, because if it's like, if it's a gift that you didn't want, maybe the other person will want it, but, um, I don't know, I guess, even if the, even if you, like, buy a gift, and you don't open it, and you, instead of returning it, you give it to... I mean, I guess if you're not going to use it, you know, it's better to give it to someone else, but I, I don't know, I, you know, it just, just kind of, I guess, you know, if anyone wants to leave their opinions on regifting, because I don't know, it feels, it just feels kind of wrong to me to regift something to someone that someone else put their t uh, time to give you, but at the same time, then you get into the whole thing, like I said, well, if they're not going to use it, and they're just going to return it or something, then, you know, at least they're making someone else happy, so, you know. So I guess it's, it's a situational thing, too, a little bit. Feeding my chicks. Love Lovely chicks. I like chickens. Chickens are kind of cool animals. Like I said, there's, like, monkeys and penguins are better for me. Surprisingly, people did say they didn't like monkeys, which I can I guess I can understand. It's just, like, usually monkeys are pretty, like, on the top of the favorite animal list. And it's... I think Celeb might be fully grown. We'll find out in a second. I'm gonna try and maybe shear him, possibly. It looks like he's fully grown. Cause his, I think he's bigger and his uh, 
fleece is now more white than it was yellow. His fleece is white as snow. Um, but I have to go get the shears first before I actually shear him. And actually, I might... I think I might not sell his wool. Because the thing is, um, with Anne, the thing she likes the best, she likes things that you grow, but she definitely likes potatoes, corn, and really, really loves wool. And since I wanted to get um, Anne up to a pink heart, it would make sense to give her wool. Now I'm going to be losing money on the deal, but you know, yeah, it's worth it to try and get Anne up to pink heart. And once I get her up to a pink heart, then there won't be any need to give her wool, so. Um, throw in a little wool her way. People, I think, have said that, um, I've seen things of Anne being the hardest to woo because you have to, she's really expensive. And I don't know, I, I guess I always found Karen the hardest just because, not counting the dog tricks, she's... Just because she has a whole side quest, the side quest isn't that bad if you know how to do it. Um, but I don't know, I always found the fact that you need to do a side quest for Karen to be the, um... And maybe you don't have to do a side quest for Karen, but I think, I almost feel like you should at least. I mean, maybe you don't. I guess, I think it helps, though, in, in um, you know, making Anne, or not Anne, Karen like you. Um, but yeah, people said it, it, Anne is the hardest because, uh, she requires very expensive gifts basically stuff you're making yourself but you know I don't know I didn't mind I don't mind oh good she's a green heart green heart means uh, that's like the middle basically I think white is just indifferent blue is like they like you a little bit they're f basically friends green is they like you a lot uh, blue yellow is like they really 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 like you and then pink is holy crap marry me um, and yeah I think I have enough now so let's buy a cow for real and you'll take it to the farm. Awesome. No cancellations and no refunds. What if your cow is dead? What if you just gave me a... Uh, see, that's the thing, like, with the no cancellations and refunds. Okay, that's great, but if you give me a cow that's dead, or if you give me a defective cow, well, you know, what does... You know, does that mean I shouldn't get a refund? I take care when delivering mail on rainy days. I hate rain. I think I've said this before. I really don't like rain. I, I like rain in the summer only because when it rains during the summer, and I hate the heat, uh, when it rains during the summer, it really cools off. Like, all the humidity that has built up is released, so it's a lot more, you know, relaxing and cool. Like, today when I'm recording, it's so much more comfortable today because it decided to rain a little bit. Um, but in general, I don't like rain because rain is very wet. And I'm not a big fan of the wet thing. Um... You know, snow I like because, you know, I know for, like, driving snow is that good, but snow, you know, it, it doesn't get, like, you can walk through snow and not get wet, and yeah, it gets in your clothes, but, like, it just, I really don't like having to walk through the rain, I guess, is my main thing. Plus, it's just kind of depressing on rainy days. Not that I'm a big fan of really hot days, I know it's, like, beautiful out, but at the same time, it's, again, I, I'm really uncomfortable during hot days. Not fun for me. And let's go cut some wood. Even though it's probably not a good idea because I have the risk of uh, getting sick during the uh, fall. But again, I'm not going. You know, no rain's going to stop me from getting some wood. Chop and down some wood. Chop and down some wood. Chop. Um, has anyone ever watched that show actually? Um, on Food Network, Chopped. I've. I haven't watched. I. My mother will have it on. I'll occasionally watch it. I haven't seen it recently, but it's kind of an interesting show. Basically, they have, like, three, I think three, maybe four chefs, and they'll have, like, three, uh, like, breakfast, or is it lunch, dinner, and dessert, I think, and basically you'll, you'll make different courses using, uh, sometimes weird ingredients, like, they'll have, like, stuff you wouldn't usually use for, um, like, dessert, they'll sometimes have, like, squid or something, or something that you wouldn't usually have for dessert. And they'll have, like, a short time to make the meal, and then the judges will decide which one gets chopped or kicked off, and then they'll move on to the next challenge. It's kind of a fun show. It's, as far as reality shows go, it's, you know, fun. It's one of the more interesting and better ones, in my opinion. Food ones tend to be good like that, because I think it's kind of a competition of skill, I feel, is a, a decent reality show, because, you know, as much as you can say they're maybe fixed or s something, it's, you know, it's a real thing. Like, it's, it's supposed to Survivor, which is just... You know, yeah, they're surviving on an island, but I, I want, I debate how, you know, much they're doing on their own, and how much like they're getting help, and then you have um, 
you know, I mean, American Idol has a competition of skill, but the thing is, that's a popularity contest more than, a, than an actual judging of skill, personally. So I don't, I'm not a big fan of popularity contests. And I'm going to name my cow, uh, this is suggested, I'm not sure, uh, who decided to, wait a minute, not M. Uh, I'm not sure who suggested it or if it was really popular, but it's a, it's an interesting name. Um, yeah, I'm gonna name it Burger. Uh, someone, I think someone said Hamburger, but Hamburger won't fit. Basically, if you're suggesting names, one, two, three, four, five, six, six is the limit, so any name that's over six characters, I can't name my animal because... Unless I abbreviate, of course. Oh, which I can do for some things. Other things I, you know, obviously I can't. Because it wouldn't make sense. But, um, but yeah, that show's pretty cool. It's on Food Network. Food Network's always, I, I always like Food Network. Um, Animal Planet, Planet is pretty interesting, too. Uh, this show's back in the day that I used to watch. But I'm almost out of time, so this has been Make for, Make for 400, and uh, I'm reminding you... Go bake a weasel.